What's good? Welcome back or to the channel. Today we're going to be installing one of the final pieces on the Summit build, which is this front bumper here from BSB Fab. Guys, if you are interested in running BSB Fab on your sled, I have a promo code for you guys. I am going to throw it up on the screen. It gets you 7% off of your order. They don't just make skidoo bumpers. They make front and rear bumpers for every manufacturer's sled. I'm going to also link them in the description. Go ahead and check them out on their website as well as Instagram. BSB Fab, once again, thank you for sponsoring this video and setting these bumpers out for me. I am absolutely in love with them. After that is on the summit is pretty much complete we have a few little odds and ends here that we have to tweak on the sled today we're going to be doing a full install video on the bsb fab front bumper for the gen 4 summit and that process begins by removing the hood remove a summit hood it's super simple all you got to do is remove your two side panels which is just a couple clips and then there are going to be some t20 torque bits along the side of the hood and up here you're going to move your glove box move your dash and then remove your intake and then that is going to be it sounds like a lot of work but it really isn't too bad Next step is once you got your hood off your sled, you are gonna need a open-ended wrench and a spring puller. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the stock pipe so you get access to mounting brackets for the stock bumper as well as the BSB fab bumper. Oh shit. They weren't playing when they put that on. Shoot. <laughs> Woo! That's gone. Oh, she's clean. Once you guys get the stock pipe off, there are going to be two bolts to undo. One right here where Brandon's working and one right here on the opposite side, identical location. And then you're going to have four rivets towards the front of the sled that you need to drill out. One here, one a little bit deeper, and then identical on the other side. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's Once you remove those two bolts and four rivets, you are able to pull your stock front bumper out. Now we have done that already and we have our BSB Fab front bumper test fit on here. When you get your front bumper, you are gonna get these relocation brackets and what you're gonna do with these is you're not gonna use the stock tabs anymore because they are prone to breaking. You have these two divots here, one, two. They are circled with little indents in them. You're gonna drill those out and that is how you're gonna put your relocation brackets in in order to mount your BSB Fab front bumper. Now that we got our tabs drilled out for the new mounting brackets for the BSB Fab front bumper, we have to go ahead and remove this stock plate down here. So we already went ahead and did that. This is the stock plate. What you gotta do is drill out two rivets, one, two, and then undo two bolts, one, two, and then slap your new plate on, and then go ahead and tighten it back in. These two bolts down here can kind of be a pain to get to. What we are using is an open-ended wrench for right here, and I got a nice extension piece here with a swivel head socket here. Something I do. I've been hiding all of my emotions. That's something I do. I've been rolling. Little progress update here. So this bracket, you do not have to drill, but this one you do. So if you have a sensor that's mounted on your stock bumper like I did, you have to drill this bracket out in order to remount your sensor. This hole is gonna be a quarter inch. This hole is gonna be a 3 16 I will put a picture up on the screen of the exact measurements you need to drill in order to fit this sensor. Other than that, guys, we have this bracket mocked up, this bracket loosely mocked up. We are about to slide the BSB fab front bumper in and loosely mock everything up. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten it up and then deal with the bolts down here. I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been rolling. Well, guys, we got both sides all snug and secure. Next step is to drill out through down here. You have one, two here and one, two there. So four holes total to drill out in order to mount the bottom of your front bumper to this new bracket we installed where the A-arms sit. I've been rolling around, that's something I do. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking, that's something I do. Well boys, we got both brackets up here secured and we got this one down here secured. All we gotta do now is basically reassemble the sled how it was. So we're gonna put the pipe back in, obviously put all our springs back on, put the hood back on, our side panels and all the T20s. And then this install is 100% complete. And guys, real quick, even though the hood is not on the sled or the side panels, it's kind of like ripped apart. It looks like it's in a million pieces when it's really not. Take a look at how good this front bumper looks, guys. I am blown away. And there's Brandon lifting on it. Look at the durability on this, guys. Like, I feel like I could ram a tree and my sled's gonna be fine. Like, this, this bumper looks amazing. And I can't wait to start hitting some trees this season and figure out how durable it really is because... 
from the looks of it and the feels of it, it feels like it could withstand a semi truck. So we are gonna go ahead and put the rest of the sled back together and I will catch you guys after that. All of my emotions, that's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. Next day here, the camera ended up dying last night, but we did also end up completing the install. And guys, look at how amazing this front bumper looks on this sled. I am blown away by the quality and how durable and how sturdy, like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to ram a tree head on with that and I shouldn't have an issue with my sled. Hopefully we don't do that, but if we end up doing it, Oh well. And obviously we also got the BSB fab rear bumper on here. So we are BSB fabbed out on the sled and all the white accents are on the sled as well. As you guys probably saw last video, we finally put the bars on, got the bumper, the seat cover. It's a work in progress. We're going to get that on skis, front bumper. This sled is pretty much 100% complete. And my tunnel bag came. This is actually Brandon's, but I ordered one myself and this came in today. Super stoked for that. We are leaving for our trip in literally two days. So on the 12th, we are headed up and it's a gamble we're going to the upper peninsula of michigan and it is 100 percent a gamble right now they have maybe a foot to two foot down depending upon where you're at we're banking on a snowstorm to pull through this week that looks like it might hit but we're gonna go there and take a chance and just cross our fingers and hope that snowstorm hits that's about all i have for you guys today if you like today's video smash a huge thumbs up on today's video comment section below let me know what you think of the white front bumper on the sled i absolutely love it you guys we are so close to 20,000 subscribers that is my goal for the end of the year i want 20k so bad so if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out that's something i do i've been rolling around i've been rolling around that's something i do pull up in the drop top